How's it going guys? Um, these are just a few of my diecast cars so you have something to look at while I jabber away here. But um, the earliest memory that I have of uh, building a model car, I might have been four or five years old, was sitting on a chair that I was way too small for watching my father take everything out of the box. And I remember taking the body and taking the the wheels that were well the the, the tires because there were no wheels in there and putting the the tires underneath the body and try to make it look like a finished car it was uh I remember it being a fifty seven Chevy and I remember I don't know why I think the plastic was yellow. Or he had a yellow, uh, yellowish tint to it. That's that's what I believe I remember with it. But I also remember being in awe of my father building everything before my eyes, and then really wanting that car to be done so, so I could take it and and play with it or have fun with it. Um, I remember the first one that I've done. I did myself. Might have been a couple years later, it was a snap tight. Again, another, might have been a 55 Chevy. I think it was light blue. And what what I was so proud about was that with that one was that it was a snap tight kit, but I took, I had, I actually applied paint to parts of like the exhaust underneath and, and the tail lights. And that, that's what, made me think, well, that's what made that model the best one of uh, my building or of my memory. I mean, that's one thing that sticks in my head. Um, and now, now, of course, it's many years later, and although I'm not, I'm not building masterpieces, I, I know I've greatly improved from when I was younger, but um, improve every day, and What's what's kind of cool is that I'm I'm not the only one getting back into this. My father's getting interested in this as well. Um, started with I mean I asked my parents for that for my birthday, and my father found that, and I mean he he bought I got this a, a few weeks ago, but. Um, I think um, my father read it through a couple times, and he's greatly interested in. And he is also, I would, he has also found this videotape, um, which I, because of what you see here, I wouldn't share with you. But I'm, I'll share this address with you. This, this is an hour-long videotape of several different uh, methods for uh, rusting and weathering. It's more more trains than cars, but I'm sure you can apply the same technique to uh, model cars. Um, yeah, and that's I'm, that's what I want to show. Oh, what I I was working on my Magnum earlier tonight, and I got uh, black detailer. And I was actually applied that to some of the interior, and that I was happier with. And I mean, that's I always was that's something I found instead of just using it to like wash a grill. You can just uh, I used it on an interior on the interior and make uh, make it look more two toned. But um, yeah, it's 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 about it and. <laughs> Alright, just wanted to share that with you guys. Have a good day, keep modeling.